Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Los Angeles bishop is out after being accused of sex abuse. The Vatican announced today that Pope Francis has accepted the resignation of Auxiliary Bishop Alexander Salazar, 13 years after the LA Archdiocese learned of a sex abuse allegation against him. Though Salazar denies wrongdoing, an Archdiocesan Review Board found the allegation credible and recommended he be stripped of his faculties. A New York priest has been arrested for sexual misconduct with a minor. Father Thomas Kreiser was taken into custody yesterday after an allegation that he inappropriately touched a 10-year-old girl. Kreiser had been assigned to St. Joseph's Parish, which also includes an elementary school where the sexual misconduct took place. Church Militant has confirmed at least one complaint of homosexual predation lodged against Kreiser, which happened more than a decade ago. The Diocese of Buffalo, New York, is giving $650,000 to a victim molested at gunpoint. The unnamed victim maintains that Father Michael Freeman aimed a gun at his head and abused him when he was a child in the 1980s, abuse that continued for several years. Freeman would carry a 38 caliber pistol and threaten the boy with it if he did not take part in the abuse, giving the boy absolution afterward. Freeman was named in the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report, and the diocese knew of accusations against him going back as far as 1981. The Pope is being blasted for his latest remarks on the death penalty. In comments Monday, Francis defended his position that capital punishment is inadmissible arguing that previous popes failed to exercise sufficient mercy in upholding the death penalty. Critics slammed the pontiff for a statement, calling his stance humanistic and a contradiction of church tradition. In August, Francis ordered the catechism to be changed to reflect his opposition to the death penalty. A member of the Vatican's Pontifical Society for Family Life rejects church teaching on sexual morality. On Friday, Professor Marie Jo Thiel a Catholic theologian and the most recent appointee by Pope Francis to the Pontifical Society, blamed the clerical sex abuse crisis on the church's teaching on sexual morality, claiming it's unrealistic and unlivable by most. She claims Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation, Amoris Laetitia, has given Catholics more freedom in the realm of expressing sexuality. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about business as usual. And check out the download where the panel discusses Jesuit gay predation. God bless you.